Hey everybody. Okay, I, I just wanted to put in my two cents because I've been doing a lot of research online about this Johnny Depp Amber Heard fiasco. And although, all right, I gotta bring up a few points and this is the thing, I'm probably gonna get backlash from some people, I understand, but I have to be honest. And so as long as I'm being honest, I think both sides are at fault in their own ways. Let me explain. I think that, yes, Amber Heard probably maybe embellished some things. Maybe. We will never know fully because that's their business. But I also think, after looking at especially the unsealed documents from the court afterwards that weren't allowed at the trial, number one, there were a lot of things that were unsealed, I believe personally, that could have been important towards an accurate outcome. Number two, um, we have to remember this was a defamation suit and so it was defam it was talking about defamating somebody's character, right? But because of that, they didn't totally delve, I feel, far enough in, in enough depth to prove whether this person actually was abusive or not. I think that, yes, she may have defamed his character in the verdict because there wasn't enough evidence, according to the court's decision, to support her complete allegations against him. That I agree with. But... Do I think that, from what we've learned, that Johnny Depp is possibly, as much as I love him and he's cool, do we think that now that all that we've learned that there's a possibility he actually is maybe uh, at least an emotionally abusive person sometimes? Yes, I think he could be. And also, I'm a recovering addict, okay? I'll always be one. At the very least, he has a severe addiction problem, number one. Number two, I think he has severe anger issues. We've seen that. Doesn't mean he beat her, but he smashed things. He's broke things. He screams. He howls. He passes out. All of this is true. He readily admits that, you know, he indulges in massive amounts of cocaine and alcohol and other things. Or oxycodone. So... I'm not saying that, I'm not judging him, but I'm saying we have to take into account when we judge Amber Heard and we judge Johnny Depp, are we going to put him on a pedestal and put her in the gutter? Or are we going to say we'll never, one, know what truly happened? All of it, which is true. And number two, how are we to bash her so badly? Because the only facts that we know prove that she may have gone a little too far and maybe embellished some things. But at the core, I believe there was at least a little bit of um, emotional abuse on both of their parts. In my opinion, she shouldn't have gone public with this. This should have been something that stayed between the two of them because they were both at fault, I think, for being abusive towards each other. And it should have been a private matter. And she is, I think, at fault for trying to jump and say, you know, I'm such a, an innocent victim of this. Because she's not innocent, I don't think. But do I think he's emotionally abusive at the very least? Yes. And I think she also can be emotionally abusive at the very least. And she proved physically abusive sometimes, too. So I think they're both at fault. But And I don't think it's fair that we demonize this woman any further. I think that should stop. I think that this woman obviously is flawed, as we all are. We're just imperfect humans. That's what happens. But at this point, let it go, people. You know, don't be a dead horse anymore. She's probably never going to have a career in Hollywood again. So she's killed her shots of that. She's going to live with the ramifications of this forever. 
as will he. Now, he may never reach the popularity that he was before, but I don't agree with putting him on a pedestal as like a prince or a king either, because we learn that he's verbally nasty, um, sometimes physically violent, if not towards people, towards things, and, you know, while he's under the influence of massive amounts of narcotics and alcohol, and, you know, I mean, don't put someone on a pedestal and glorify them if they're severely flawed, just because you like them more than the other person who embellished and lied, when at the core of it, I feel they're both at fault equally for different things that we'll never know the full extent of, and it should have remained a private matter. And Amber Heard never should have taken to the extent she went to, and he should have never lashed back as bad, and, you know, made her look so stupid. They're both at fault, hands down. And they're both imperfect, and they both need to move on. I don't think she deserves to be demonized for the rest of her life. I think she's made mistakes, and she's been beaten to hell and back. Let her heal. Everyone deserves to bounce back. If she can, you know, keep her head on straight and not do something like that again in the future. And as for him, let him bounce back too if he can. But don't put him on a pedestal that he's perfect, because he's obviously not, as none of us are. Does this make sense? I think what really bothers me is that I watched um, the Netflix special um, about the two of them, the three episode special, and what really stuck with me was that social media, number one, I truly feel, no matter how much the judge asked the jury not to watch any news clips, she didn't sequester the jury for one. So it's impossible to believe that just because she said don't listen to any news clips or read or any of that or social media they have families they go home they went home for a long weekend they had time off for some of i can't remember anyway there's not a chance in hell and back that at least some of them if not all of them heard even partially some of the opinions of the public. And let's be honest, if you look back, the public was massively, they wanted to burn Amber Heard at the stake and they wanted to practically put, you know, like pin a rose on Johnny Depp's nose. And just let it go, people. At the core of it, I think they're both at fault for different things. And it should have never been our business to begin with. We, it's true, it was a guilty pleasure. I watched it too. But I think we let ourselves, some of us, especially online, let ourselves get too wrapped up in, and embellished into the details and thought that we had a right to throw such hatred on this woman or such praise on this man. When at the core, they're both flawed people as we are too and I think they both made some serious mistakes and I think they both have some serious mental and emotional issues that they need to deal with and I hope they do and I think they're better apart than they ever were together but who are we to keep demonizing this woman I mean I see it still people still say these horrible things about her you know what let it go uh, let it go and amber stop talking about it let it go johnny please don't bring it up everyone let it go and move on is what i want and please stop all the hateful things about amber heard she did lie she is flawed but she's also a human being and he's not perfect either i mean he he's a he he's moaned because he's ro rolling around the floor because he's so high. He's pictures of him nodding out because he's so high, with ice cream melting on him. You know, we watched him bash like cupboards and stuff and break the glass when he was angry. It wasn't her, but it was cupboards. So that's violent behavior. I mean, so see, there's a little snippet of truth in some of the things she said. 
Although, so you have to take into full picture everything. Let's remember that we're all human beings. Let's stop throwing hate on each other so much. And even if people do wrong, we have to, at some point, get past it and move on. And I wish the best for both of them in their separateness of their lives. I love Johnny Depp. I wish him the best. And you know what? I, I, also, I always liked Amber Heard. And although I think that she has flaws and she did wrong, I've forgiven that. You know what? It's not my business. And I hope that she has a good future, too. So everybody out there, let me know what you think. And I'll talk to you later.